Hello everyone, this is RaySpace and welcome back to my new fly career in Microsoft Flight Sim where I continue to fly the PMDG DC-6A and I intend to fly it around the world. Uh, I started this particular jaunt uh, from India and we are currently going for a flight from Thailand to Vietnam to Haiphong it looks like and I just have to take whatever they give me in the new fly career missions and that is the most lucrative mission. It does require me to land softly, hopefully I can do that, though I already have had a very long flight today uh, that was during the live stream, but I'll pick this up. So it's a lot of phones that we will be carrying and it needs 1, 000, uh, 11,633 pounds altogether. So that's the flight and then I'm going to get that into sim brief so that beyond ATC can work. I have done so. There we go. That's what the sim brief look at the plan is. Um, this buildings here. This parking spot is probably the best because that way I'm not going to have to do a pushback. I think. I think this has got to be clear of a pushback. It's not really tarmac, so that's not great, but these are also options. But I think this is the clearest, easiest to turn around from. Okay. Aircrew, be advised, today's fragile cargo is being manually handled onto the aircraft at the customer's request. <laughs> that's not the sound of phones. Okay, so here we go again. Okay, ground power. We don't really have passengers, but hey, seatbelt sign and no smoking is fine. Water injection on. Everything else should still be okay over there. And then the cow flaps, I'll just open up all the way. Do booster speed. Switches are off right now. Inverters on. Generators on. The cabin heater master switch here. Let's check our quantities on the. I think I filled it up last time though for the anti ice and stuff like that. Leak. Yeah, they're all okay. And we just fixed the engines last time. Well, let me just check that the fuel and payload are okay. That payload was not okay. Okay, fuel tank selectors. That's okay. Oh, right, the booster pumps. Did it tell me about the booster pumps? Okay, number three is on. Number four is on. Let me get some carb heat. Number two is on. Everything looks good from where I'm sitting. Taxi to the runway and take off. Okay, let's get the ground power off. as the generators should do the trick. Oh, that's battery and ground power, oops. We're on plain battery, okay. Okay, ground power unit off. Mei Hong Song Tower, this is Romeo Alpha 412 requesting IFR clearance. Fortunately, I have a translation to this in the Beyond ATC dialogue. Taxi to runway 29 uh, DOMK1 left squawking 3656. Romeo Alpha 412. 
ਦੋ ਕੰਮ ਦੇ ਵੇਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਰਹਦੇ ਜਾਦੇ ਕਦੇ ਜੋਤ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਰਹੇ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਸ਼ੁਭ ਕੰਮ ਦਾ ਉਹ ਦਮੇ ਦੁਰਿਆ ਹੈ ਪੁਸ਼ ਬੈਕ ਨਾਰਥ ਰੋਮੀ ਆਫ ਫੋਰ ਵਨ ਟੂ ਓਕੇ ਵੈਲ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਫੇਸਿੰਗ ਨਾਰਥ ਸੋ ਥੈਟਸ ਓਕੇ ਰੋਮੀ ਆਫ ਫੋਰ ਵਨ ਟੂ ਰਿਕੁਐਸਟਿੰਗ ਟੈਕਸੀ ਟੂ ਰਨਵੇ Runway 29. Taxiing to runway 29, Romeo Alpha 412. Runway 29, Romeo Alpha 412. Okay, well, that's that always. And that guy is standing right there. <laughs> I was worried I'd be facing the way the other guys are. But this is a little bit more convenient than even I thought. Oh, well, I'm going to have to use the runway to taxi to the runway. That seems to be the way of things for all the airports Neofly lets me fly into. Nice sort of scenic airport with all the mountains around. Okay, looking good to me. Romeo Alpha 412 requesting departure. Welcome to Bay Cruise Delta. Okay, fine. the Jodi Hotel. They are here. The Jodi at the tunnel. The Bay Cruise Ramble. Clear for takeoff. Runway 40 uh, runway 29, Romeo Alpha 412. Oh, I've got got the gas lock on. Okay. Up we go. Here we go. Transporter up. from dispatch. Fly safe and remember to watch your landing. No come to wait for the other side. Do the room cut a joke there and the other side of the area I'm going to add. 126.2 Romeo Alpha 412. Okay, we've got our flight plan in. We need to close the cow flaps. They're too way too open. Well, now all the engines are on question mark. I think I left the cow flaps open too long or too wide. Welcome to the Kurdish Air Center. Do you want to do the air that the other chair is on the way? Okay, what was that? One two eight point one. Roll me off for four one two. Bangkok Center. This is Romeo Alpha 412 at 7000 feet climbing out of Mehong Song. Romeo Alpha 412. Ah, English. Bangkok Center. Radar contact. Climb to 13000 feet. QN H1015. No, oh, that's actually about right. Okay. Climbing to 13000 feet QNH 1015 Romeo Alpha 412 And there we are climbing at 8500 feet Oh it says oil temperature at question mark mortar stress range when the oil temperatures aren't even in the yellow over there So I don't know I feel like they shouldn't be that stressed but then we we already have all four engines in question mark territory What have I done? <laughs> It's like Oh well. Yes, I'm going to find out. I'm still flying at in real time with real world weather. Real time is not too bad because I'm on the other side of the world from here, so my night time is the local daytime. Okay, supercharger time. Up. Oh, now the carburetor temperature is a bit hot it looks like. So, these a little bit down. I'm trying to get the right amount is tough. 
Well, it's closer to the right amount. Oop, got off course there. Well, we're at 13,000. That's where ATC wanted us to be. Let's get this stuff on. Still very much over Thailand here. We were on the western side of Thailand. We basically have to cross the northern portion of it in order to get to Laos. And then we cross uh, a fairly bulky part of Laos in order to get to Vietnam. See right there is Chiang Mai, I think. I believe so. Airport is VTCC that we're flying over there. Ground speed 268 knots. So flight time is going to be about two hours. Oh, there's a nice lake with a clear dam. Obviously, this is a a artificial lake. Unfortunately, it doesn't really appear on the map very well. Uh, yeah, so I can't tell what it's called. All right, crossing over into Laos. Unfortunately, the scenery is just sort of generic mountains here. We're at ground speed 272 knots. Still at 13,000 feet. Still more than half of the trip left to go. I haven't had any communication from ATC. You know, ATC is very quiet. I understand that they've got uh, other AI traffic chatter planned and maybe in beta or something, but well, I'm still waiting. So, yeah, it's just very quiet. And sometimes when I get to, oh, and sometimes Contact it decides to Rita. pop in. One, two, eight decimal three. Bye bye. I was expecting something when we changed country. Sometimes it doesn't do that though. One, two, eight decimal three, Romeo Alpha four, one, two. All right, crossing into Vietnam here. I don't know what the exact land feature is. The textures are absolutely horrible. The textures are. Oh, there we go. Contact Hanoi Control One Two Five Decimal Nine. Bye bye. One Two Five Decimal Nine. Romeo Alpha Four One Two. So yeah, the other big flight for me today was a B One flight across the United States from San Francisco to New York, following Interstate Eighty. I hope to produce a video with that. That was during a Twitch live stream. Uh, and I was flying the B1, trying to stay below 1,000 feet above the ground. Sometimes I drifted up to 2,000, especially if there were clouds. But basically 1,000 feet above the ground or less, following Interstate 80 across the country, nonstop, there was no need to refuel, going at 600 knots. So that was fun, intense though, no autopilot of course at that option. I mean in theory the B1 has string following but it was all by hand. Four hours and 20 minutes. So I think I did a good job there. But, uh, whether other people are gonna enjoy watching it, I'm not gonna produce it as a four hour and 20 minute video that's for sure. I'll have to see what I can do with it. But I do like that B1B by quick flight. The B1 is just a beautiful plane in general and it flies reasonably well. Uh, there's a really bad little spot here. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna fix these things for flight sim 2024 or they're just gonna up the quality in the popular areas. All right, we are in the vicinity of Hanoi. And that is the Red River, also called the Hong River, and I think another name in Chinese as well. Uh, but we're north of Hanoi. We need to turn south at this lake. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. 
and soon enough I'm going to call for descent. We have a proper amount of fuel this time. The engines have been reading like this for a while now with the carburetor temperature question mark and the oil temperature qu question mark. But I don't know about these question marks because over here they, they aren't like in yellow territory or anything. They're still in happy territory, both of them. I mean, both the oil temp and the carburetor air. So, I don't know. I think they are acceptable. However, it is the case that even though I just repaired them, the engines all read yellow question mark. So, we'll have to see. This time I won't repair them for now. I think it's a little bit silly to have them repaired this quickly. So, we'll see what goes on. Well, that right there is Hanoi. Romeo Alpha 412, Hanoi Control. Expect no one Juliet, runway 07. Expecting now one Juliet, runway 7, Romeo Alpha 412. Hanoi Control, this is Romeo Alpha 412, ready for descent. Romeo Alpha 412, no one Juliet, runway 07, descend to 4,900 feet, QNH 1018. Now on Juliet, runway 7, descending to 4,900 feet, QNH 1018, Romeo Alpha 412. Well, I guess I can turn off the supercharge. well, set the supercharges to low. Let me put it that way. Romeo Alpha 412, contact cat by approach 125.1. Contacting cat by approach 125.1, Romeo Alpha 412. Well, here we are. Okay. Romeo Alpha 412, contact cat B Tower 118 decimal 5. Cat B Tower 118 decimal 5, Romeo Alpha 412. Cappy Tower, does Romeo Alpha 412 at 2,600 feet to land? Romeo Alpha 412, Cat by Tower, wind 050 at 4, runway 07, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 07, Romeo Alpha 412. And again, I do have to land softly. Alright, looking good. That wasn't the softest landing I've it's, seen. It's better than 200, it's fine. Romeo Alpha 412, exit next available taxiway. Well, yes we have. Romeo Alpha 412, requesting taxi to assign gate. Romeo Alpha 412, ram tree, taxi, to pilot's discretion. There isn't even a whole lot of room over here for me, to be honest. There's a lot of planes in the way. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna park here. I mean, I know I'm not gonna actually crash into the Cessna, but shoot. Stand by, pilot. Cargo unloading. Okay, two hours and 29 minutes according to that. And we're all sort of done here. 
Uh, we'll, we'll keep the question marks and see how it goes on that stuff. All right, back to Neofly. All right, so we've gotten paid as much as I'd like because of the running costs. Basically, half of the payment goes to the running costs after a two-hour flight, but at least we got something. Anyway, I will continue on from here and continue eastward. It doesn't look like there is a flight to Hong Kong or Macau, which I would prefer. Uh, so we are going to end up with a flight into China. This is the only eastward one that I could get that's a decent length. And we are carrying mechanical parts to Xiaoguang Gulo, Guto, Guto Airport. But it's HSC. Now I tried to search the airport in Simbrief and of course search HSC. And Simbrief doesn't seem to have this thing. Uh, so I can't use Beyond ATC for this one, as far as I can tell. I'll pick it up though, it's the only one that's vaguely going in the right direction, so I'll take that. It's not going to give me much XP, which is important by the way. Uh, getting to Senior Captain is necessary to get airline missions, which means that's necessary to get the, the good stuff in the 737 that I eventually want to pick up. So after the Around the World flight, with the DC-6 going with missions all around the world, I would like to eventually get the, DC, uh, the 737. And I need to be a senior captain, captain by then. But anyway, for now, we will load certainly enough fuel for this flight. And turn to the sim. Well, since I'm not doing the Beyond ATC and also I already did the star procedure on the first flight. I'll just take off directly from the runway. So this is what the flight looks like. Since I am starting on the runway, I have to make sure that the masses are correct because otherwise I can't load stuff in. I can't load the fuel in in particular. Okay, as expected, it changed my weight. All right, now we're good. Okay, gust lock off. And let's go. Oh, I thought the landing lights were on. Gosh darn it. Transporter, have a nice flight. That was not the right position. Okay, gear up. Oh, why is my thrall not doing anything? Oh, huh, the instruments were not updating for some reason. That's not good, game. Haiphong Harbor, presumably. I think I can already figure out the autopilot situation here. Alright, climbing nicely here. No apparent concerns at the moment. Unfortunately, it appears that we have a pretty strong headwind against us right now, 25 knots. Well, the wind's not against us anymore now, it's a crosswind up here. 11,000 feet and still climbing. Still over Vietnam right now, but we will cross into China. Okay, well I'm gonna give the high superchargers a twirl. I would like to get above these clouds. Okay, I think we've crossed into China now. Border not super clear around here. 
Well, maybe it's that river, though. It looks like we crossed the border, but... Well, yeah, I guess the river is inside Chinese territory from the look of it. You'd think that a river would be the border, but this border, even though it looks complicated, seems to be defined maybe by that stream back there. I don't know. Anyway, we are in China now. I tried to avoid this, but it just doesn't want to give me missions where, well, I mean, Hong Kong is sort of a gray zone, but we couldn't get one straight to Taipei, that's for sure. This has the range, but uh, no, we weren't getting that. Well, now the carburetor temperature says it's too cold, so, well, there's a way to fix that. I mean, looking at the numbers down there, we're a heck of a closer to too cold than too hot. Too hot's 40 degrees Celsius there. We were at the bottom end, so whatever it's trying to say there, I think I can pump this up. It still says question mark, moderate, whatever, but it looks like it's in a better range over there. Well, I'm going to take 19,000 feet. We are, in fact, above the clouds. Probably not a lot to see as far as ground details. Carrying 19,000 pounds of mechanical parts. All right, well, this has been a fairly fast trip. Uh, the ground speed is 319 knots right now, and that's because of a 22 knot tailwind. And so we've been clipping right along, and it's been rather short. Nothing really to report along the way. The ground textures aren't really stellar here in China. So, yeah. Yep. We are now 50 nautical miles away from the target, and I'm going to begin descent. Okay, well, we'll fly alongside the airport to take a look first, and then come around to land. Well, that little airfield there, that's the airport I'm trying to land at. Doesn't exactly look awe-inspiring, does it? Well, there's some city or another. Chaoguan Wujiang District, I guess. Sure doesn't ring a bell. Turning around. Okay, gear down, flaps down. Yeah, well, I can see why Simbrief doesn't have this one. It doesn't even have runway numbers. Doesn't have anything here. Well, windsock. It's got a windsock. Transporter from dispatch. Okay. Nice landing. Go to the parking and put your parking brake on. I'll be in touch. Transporter from dispatch. Clear the runway and taxi to parking. Well, I'll just go to the end and park over there, I suppose. This runway looks more like a parking apron than a runway. Well, we'll have to pick it up here for the next bit. Is that? Well, that's a elevated highway over there. That's fancy. Elevated all over the place. Feel like somebody did a strange thing with this airport. 
I wonder if it really exists. <laughs> I assume it really exists, but they sure didn't do a good job of it. Or much of a job. I don't know what this little pinkish tinted pavement is. But okay. Alright, alright. We're here. Stand by, pilot. Cargo unloading. Idle cutoff time. Okay, ignition switches. Generators. Pumps. Transporter from dispatch. The cargo was picked up by the customer. Inverters. Your mission is completed. And power off. Ready for engine start. All right, one hour and fifty-one minutes. Surprising that it was that long, actually. So in NeoFly, we got paid a bit, not a huge amount. Uh, well, net, net, actually, the rental was only one hundred and twenty-three thousand. So uh, still. That was half of it, and then we got about 140,000 more. But anyway, that's what I get. I want to go in the direction I want. We will see where I head to next time. So, that's two more flights with the DC-6, and there'll be many more to come. With that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.